Ahoy, buenas. Salut tout le monde. Tadia, hao, konnichiwa. I dobre došli. Trinket to S now speaks many languages, so the wizard should too. Hello everyone. It's me by the way, the wizard. Today we'll talk about languages and words. We love them. They are what stories are made of. They are how people can share their passion and express their deeper selves. And Trinket OS is all about that. Glyphs and letters, words and stories. Only a month has passed since the world was opened and we were joined by many incredible translators that wanted to share Trinket OS with speakers of their languages. Naturally, I started to look for a service we could use to collaborate. The most common suggestion was Crowdy. I checked it out. Look at this cold corporate frontend. It just screams that they love money and don't care about creators. I'm sure it has a free tier, but it's limited and they openly feed your data to AI. Poedit, localize, all of them are for businesses, not for creators. They have limited free tiers even limited paid tiers. Five translators? We already had nine in the first week. And even if we somehow squeezed into a free or cheap tier, two problems remain. First, we don't know what they'll do with our data. Will it be fed into AI and sold? Some like crowding don't even hide it. They proudly plaster AI batch on their site. And we know what that means. Second, Commercial platforms are never honest. They can't afford to be. Profit comes first, towering over everything else like a skyscraper. Our free tier could become paid tomorrow, or even worse, we could simply delete half of our translations overnight, because your tier now supports only four languages. If you think that couldn't happen, just read the news. It happens every day, even with the biggest, most honorable companies, because they are not people, but giant mechanical entities, hungry only for money. And Trinket OS and The Wizard are for people, for small creative people trying to grow their own little gardens of pixels and letters. I don't want those gardens crushed under metallic feet. So I decided to host the service myself. There are good open source options, for example, Dreadwater. Free, downloadable, installable. But here's the catch. I'm not a sysadmin. My server is small and cheap and doesn't support things like Docker. I tried and failed to get those self-hosted services running. And then I remembered that I'm the wizard. So I created my own tool to help little creators translate their projects. Today I present to you Badalos. It's incredibly small. Just 200 kilobytes if you don't count fonts, no database setup, no bloated software, no complicated dependencies, no backdoors or hidden costs. Just drop the folder on any simple PHP server, log in for the first time and you are ready to go. It's full of pixels and retro nostalgia exactly like Trinket OS. We've already used it to translate Trinket OS into 9 languages, which you'll see gradually appear in upcoming releases. And the next release is just around the corner. Stay tuned! And today we also take our first step into the world of open source. Babylon is open for you to modify, experiment with, fix and contribute. It supports XML, CSV and POT. You can even change the interface text to match the vibe of your own project, like we did. Babylon is available today on GitHub and Itch. We can also host it for you if you support us on Ko-fi or by Ranger. Small creators and teams, you are welcome here. Businesses, kindly stay away. Just enter Babylon and build it together word by word. And we'll see you next time. Because les étoiles se sont alignées. Ci vediamo. Da stretch. Tschüss.